So now we're getting into some more complex stuff because if you want your music to sound better, let's say you're playing an instrument or you've just downloaded songs from a library, a music library, it may not sound very good right now. So what you want to do is generally, I always put my songs in track two. You can even label these. I'm not sure if you knew that. You can just call this um, background music. So you know, and then this one could be, um, this could be your voiceover. So in order to master this, I've shown you what the effects rack is. You need to hit that. Next, just take a look at the different options you have. You want to go into special and then into mastering. Now, once you're in mastering, I want you to go down and choose subtle clarity. This is one of my favorites. Subtle clarity is going to um, improve a number of things. So let's just go back into it. Special, mastering, and take a look at um, the equalizer rack and take a look at everything that's happening right now. Loudest maximizer, widener, output gain, Look at all this. When I add subtle clarity, as you see, the reverb went up, the exciter went up, the widener, the loudness maximizer, um, and there's a peaking happening here. Now, we're not going to get into the technical aspects of it, but there will be a difference with the track. Listen. Now it's very difficult to pick up because this is already mastered, but I am still playing with it just subtly to show you the difference. This is copyright free. It becomes way more prominent with the mastering and you can also apply different levels of mastering. Now this isn't professional nitty gritty mastering that's gonna happen on a super professional level for $6,000. But this is mastering that's going to help you out. And these presets are going to help you cover it generally. I may make a course just on mastering if anybody expresses interest, because I have done that before. Um, but what I recommend you do is just play around with this, play around with the reverb. You have to know the purpose of mastering. The purpose of mastering is to make feed, well, it's to make playback on every device optimized, crisp beautiful and like I said you want presence because before a clip is mastered you won't have that presence mastering using that rack will help you you can even use different audio presets such as amplitude and compression to help you master but I recommend you go into the mastering suite and just check it out for yourself and apply that to your audio and ask yourself does it sound better and is there more preference if you have a good ear or you can just hear that it sounds better and it has more preference, but more presence, I'm sorry, and it's to your preference, um, then it's going to be so much better. Uh, playback's going to be better and you've mastered your own clip. I just taught you, if you did not already know, how to master something. And that's a skill that takes a long time, but thankfully to our technology that we're using today, it's quite simple. So master your audio and enjoy it.